Hi, I'm Kyle Peter, and welcome to JAX. I'd say JAX in the industry is known for specialty food grade lubricants. So when you walk down the grocery store aisle, you know, Snyder's Lance down, down in southern Wisconsin, uh, Heinz, Nestle, you know, Tyson, you know, when you, when you walk down, we, we supply a lot of lubricants to those types of companies. Everything that's made, let's take a bottle of beer here at Miller. Some machine is blowing that glass, some machine is filling the beer into the bottle, some machine is capping that bottle, and each of those machines require a series of lubricants, you know, oils and greases. There are a lot of moving parts, a lot of things that are sliding against one another, and to make sure that those pieces of equipment run efficiently, you know, they need oil just as your car needs oil to continue to run efficiently. We started out at Menominee Falls uh, back in the 1950s, 1955. I believe in one of the first industrial parks here in Menominee Falls, north of Silver Spring, east of Lily, uh, and we uh, would bring in lubricants, oils, greases, uh, and rebrand them under the Jack's name and resell them to heavy equipment manufacturers off highway over the over the road. I believe it was in the late 70s, early 80s, we decided to start blending some of these products ourselves. Uh, and so we were able to bring in some chemists, develop our own IP, uh, and start developing our new formulas for, for use in the industry. And that's what really started to kick off, you know, who Jax is today, because such a large part of what we do now is chemistry driven. You know, it's, it's our own IP, it's our own unique technologies. And it, it really just grew from there. Uh, we moved south of Silver Spring into our previous headquarters, and then recently, just last year, we moved here to Manhart Drive. Uh, and a lot of that was driven from things that we developed in-house uh, with our own chemists and working with our suppliers uh, and our customers to, to determine which directions we want to go, what new ideas we wanted to really push forward uh, in the lubricant space. It's a tagline, I don't think we use it anymore, but we had used it in the past called Advancing the Science of Lubrication. And that's something that we continue to try and do. We have a whole list of firsts in the industry, uh, and that's something that we pride ourselves on. Uh, you know, being the first to market, developing new technologies, trying things that maybe other people haven't tried yet. Well, we're, we're super excited about this location. I mean, we purchased the property about seven years ago. And we were really excited about the property because it's extremely rare that you can find a property really this far, this far east and this far south in a, in a really nice industrial park. And that's something that Menominee Falls offers. Um, this property is also somewhat elevated. So it gives you a really nice view around um, the entire local area. Uh, and it offered you know, something unique that we didn't find in a lot of other industrial spaces where if you go to the east side of our property, it almost feels like you're out of an industrial park and you're in nature. And so we took some elements of that and really added that into the design of the building and what we wanted to do here. We wanted to make it more of a campus feel rather than a building in an industrial park feel. And I think we were able to accomplish that. There are things that in our old building that I wasn't really crazy about. And I think we did a really nice job transitioning them to places that people really want to be. You know, one big example is our break room and our lunch room. At our old headquarters, it was kind of tucked in the middle of the building with no natural light. Uh, in this particular building, we've put it outside where you have a really nice southern facing view. And it's a place where people really want to gather. You know, we put um, some tables in there where people can come and eat uh, together, you know, in a variety of orientations. Uh, and we're just really excited. It's a place that people seem to use and really enjoy. Uh, you can find us online at www.jax.com. That's J-A-X.com. Uh, and we're located, we have three locations in the Milwaukee area. Uh, this, our new headquarters here on Manhart Drive in Menominee Falls. Uh, we have a second location on Campbell Drive uh, in Menominee Falls and a third location down in Franklin, uh, Wisconsin near the airport. Uh, we, we also have a distribution center out in Sacramento, California. Uh, and one in Nashville, Tennessee. We like Menominee Falls for a lot of reasons. Uh, it, 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 it's really unique in the proximity it has to both Milwaukee and the Northwest type suburbs and towns. Think of West Bend or a Slinger. 
um, even a Cedarburg. You know, we have employees coming from all of these locations, and that's not possible in, in a lot of different areas uh, of, around the city. Not only that, I mean, we think Menominee Falls does a really nice job of integrating business and community. Uh, it's well thought out where they put their industrial parks and it's well planned. It's not just a total mishmash. They really think about how they want to design their community and we appreciate that.